here in Mexico, we are so lucky to, every time we go into the field, we are finding new things all the time. There are still people in my country that they are unaware that in Mexico have a lot of sites with dinosaur fossils. I love doing what I do because it allows me to become like a time traveler because of all these dinosaur faunas that live in Mexico during what is called the late Cretaceous. Hi everybody, my name is uh, Claudine Serrano Brañas and I'm a vertebrate paleontologist that studies dinosaur fossils from Mexico. I work as a research associate at the Museum of Paleontology of the Benemerita Escuela Normal de Coahuila in Mexico and also I'm a research associate at the National Museum of Natural History of the Smithsonian Institution. And what this means is that I'm uh, interested in studying what types of dinosaurs were present in this region, how did they become part of the fossil record, and of course, how did they interact with other animals and plants that live in the same ecosystems. Let me tell you a little story. Um, during Lake Cretaceous, North America was divided in two land masses, one at the east called Appalachia, and one at the uh, west called Laramidia. In particular, Laramidia extended from Alaska into Mexico. So in the past, well, the, the most studied localities, dinosaur localities from Laramidia were located in the USA and in Canada. But little was known about what was happening into the southernmost part of Laramidia, which is Mexico. Mexican dinosaurs were very diverse and abundant during this time period. And also they are completely different to the generic and species level from the ones from uh, the Southern part of uh, the USA and even from Canada. Uh, last year, we discovered a new dinosaur. We named it Paraxenisaurus normalensis. And this is a very important discovery because this dinosaur is the first uh, representative of the Deinocadidae family, which in the past, was only present in Asia. And now we have the first one here in North America. And this is really cool. Yes, 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 yes. I was like, whoa, this is great. Every time we go into the field, we are finding new things all the time. Of course, doing science, it's one of my passions. And I'm so lucky enough to get to do what I love. Uh, but I think other aspect here is that I love to teach younger generations. Yes, I love to take them into the field and show them our paleontological heritage that we have here in Mexico. And I want them to feel proud of it and why it is important to study it and to preserve it.